Hello, Barrier. It's nice to see you again. Time to write history. I learned two lessons that day. First, the Barrier doesn't like to be fooled. Second, souls can be fairly tough. Luckily, why do they always call me? I'm not the only assistant he has. I seriously can't believe what you tried to do with these two poor souls. Professor, you should stop this nonsense. <sighs> you simply can't turn a monster's soul into a human soul. Challenge accepted. My lab needs me now. What? Hey, Professor, no! Professor, yes! Hey, stop! Come back here! Yeah! <laughs> Give up. This, this guy is way too much hitter. Gee. Huh? <laughs> Finally, you're noticing me. I knew you can't resist my masterfully cooked spaghetti. Oh, hey, bro, what's up? I am great, brother. Undyne gave me cooking lessons today, and I want to share the results with my friends and family. Since I still have zero friends, you're the lucky one who gets to taste my creations. Tell me how it is. Uh... Um, bro, I'm a skeleton. I have no tongue and no nose. I can't taste anything. Oh, right. That's totally unfair. Skeletons should be able to taste, too. I really wish you could enjoy my masterful cooking to its fullest. <laughs> I don't. I'll ask Undyne to try my spaghetti. I bet she'll love them. You're right. It's really preposterous. <laughs> I'm missing the possibility of tasting your tortellini awesome spaghettis, but at least we can save your creation for posterity. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> no human will be able to resist this masterful creation! Howdy! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's you, you little rascal! For a moment I thought you were a human! What are you doing, Papyrus? I'm trying to lure a human into a trap with my awesome spaghetti! Look! Hmm. Huh? Wait, where, huh? Oh! Hmm. Huh? Ah! There it is! All right! Time to make some replacements. Mm. <laughs> Just you wait, human. <laughs> ah, what a shame. Even Papyrus has become predictable and boring. Time to try something drastic. I see a chilled out sentry. And I see a good target. <laughs> ha! I see a direct hit. Uh, Snowy. He's looking at us. It was eyes to meet ya. <laughs> Another good one, Snowy. Heh, <laughs> it's no problem. Okay, no human in sight. Time to continue reading. What makes a human human? Is it their unlimited determination? Or their cruelty and lack of feelings? Is it possible to make a monster soul believe it's human? What would happen to its magic? Would this corrupt the monster's mind? There are too many dangers that could happen. Too many things we don't know about humans. The desperate times call for desperate measures. No matter the cost. And when I looked around the corner, he was lying on the ground, sleeping like the stubborn toddler he is. It's really annoying that everyone calls me when he's doing something reckless again. I'm not his babysitter. Mm. Um, last week he thought that I was a tacky art object and tried to throw me into the garbage can. Yeesh, that's harsh. I mean, he did apologize afterwards, but... 
So I really look that trashy? No, you look fine. Oh. Gaston needs to realize that the two of us are part of this team now, too. I totally agree. We all are renowned scientists and thus clearly able to help him with his research and experiments. But no, he wants to do it all by himself because he is the royal scientist and has responsibility. Oh, speaking of him, what is he even doing right now? Trying to blow up the barrier? I doubt it. He may be a stubborn man-child, but he's not insane. <laughs> <Duh -duh. laughs> God, that poor door. Professor Gaster, what have you done this time? <laughs> Professor, why the heck are you hiding under a blanket? <laughs> you aren't a kid anymore! <laughs> Wolf Wolf is on the ceiling. Huh? What? Are you stuck or something? Do you need a... <laughs> 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 uh, um, hello? Well, we heard a scream. I is everything okay? The scream? Uh, that, that was me. Yeah, me. Yeah, everything is fine. There weren't any accidents. Oh, uh, r really? The scream sounded shocking. <laughs> yeah. Finally, experience an Eureka moment can be really, uh, shocking. An Eureka moment? Professor, did you... Yes! My research was successful! Behold and marvel! A real human! Ta-da! <laughs> Just look at this masterpiece! Uh. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? This is the work of me, the genius Professor Gaster. I've successfully turned a monster soul into a human soul. And my lovely assistant volunteered to be a part of this masterpiece. Oh, my God. Please tell me that this, uh, bean is actually our colleague, Zoe. Your guess is absolutely correct. When the mutagen forced his soul to be human, it influenced his entire body, too. This, of course, happened due to the fact that as a monster, his magical body is attuned to his soul. This little heart can do so many impressive things. Ugh. Huh. Ah. Oh. You're back to normal. Ah. I was hoping the effect of the mutagen would last much longer. Did I make a mistake with the mixture? I hate you so much right now. Maybe I should increase the amount of ingredients. And now he doesn't listen to me anymore. Of course. Well, this could lead to an even bigger explosion. Zoe, are you all right? I should ask the king for an explosion safe room. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! I hope he's in a good mood. Help! Something's on my head and my arms are too short to reach it! Calm down, it's just Gaster's journal. Oh, Ew. thanks. <sighs> Why is someone like him the royal scientist? He's such a... Jerk? Such a... Man-child? He's such a narrow-minded narcissist! <sighs> I just wish there was some way we could prove to him that we are capable scientists. The best in our respective field, even. But this stubborn skeleton just won't let us work with him. Hey, uh, maybe I have an idea that could help our situation. Huh? Okay, so, I just leafed through his notes and found something very, very interesting. <gasps> Zoe, you should take a look at this. Uh, okay, w what the heck is this weird-looking creature? That's exactly how you looked as a human. Uh, uh. Yeah, Reed and me had the same thought. <sighs> this is horrible. I was barely able to move and felt like being trapped while my soul screamed in agony. During all this pain, I was hoping I'd at least look cool as a human, but no. <sighs> okay, Sinny, what is your idea? <laughs> well, how about this? We'll create a way better mutagen than Gaster did. What? Yes, I know that it sounds difficult, impossible even, but Gaster was able to create something all by himself. And there's the three of us. Huh? Think about it. If the combined effort of us can surpass the professor, he will certainly finally acknowledge our scientific abilities and accept our help. But